Come out, come out wherever you are. QAnon, QAnon killer is back in court. Anthony Camillo is back in court. The QAnon killer. He was denied bail. He's still sitting in jail. No bail. A million dollar bond. They tried to, his family tried to put up a million dollar bond in Staten Island Criminal Court today. And judge turned him down, turned him down, said, I don't know what they said, really. I wasn't there. <laughs> Let's dive right in. So this, um, the local newspaper, the Staten Island Advance, is covering it. And uh, I made friends with those guys. Hey, you doing, man? How you doing? Hey, fucking guy from Staten Island. Staten Island Advance. That's covering it, right? So here's the shot. Here's Camillo. There he is. Got his new razor, razor, razor sharp haircut. Uh, he's in khakis this time. Right? And uh, surrounded by police. You got the... He got over here is the, uh, this is low, I believe. This is the lead counsel. And, uh, you know, captain, three guys around him. <clears throat> That's uh, his attorney, Gottlieb. So a judge denied bail for Anthony Camillo, 24, in Richmond County State Supreme Court on Thursday after hearing arguments from both sides. Staten Island, following the fatal ambush of Gambino crime boss Frankie Cali outside of the Staten Island home, his alleged killer delivered a text stating, this is really good, this is new stuff, quote, I am on the run. My family is marked. Ah. So he was texting. He did it and then he was taken off and that's, this, is, this is all new, new stuff. According to a statement by prosecutors uh, Thursday in Supreme Court. All right, so that's, Anthony Camillo was indicted in April for a second degree murder in connection with the incident and appeared in court Thursday alongside his attorney, Robert Gottlieb, to request he be released on bail of $1 million bond. $1 million bond mean that means that the family would have to put up hundred grand, 10%. So it ain't going to happen. The parents are good. This is the argument the lawyer made. The parents are good, responsible people. Ref, uh, referencing Camillo's retired father who worked construction and his mother who has worked uh, nearly 30 years for Bloomberg. The family had to guarantee and also support the bond by putting up their life savings and more. So it was, it was, it was denied. Justice uh, Garnett ruled that despite having Staten Island roots and a large extended family living in the borough, the shooting in March and what law enforcement officials have deemed the threat of retaliation from the mob calls into question whether Camillo or any of his family members would live up to any circumstances on which he might be released. The family ties, quote, the family ties, in my judgment, are now existent, are, are non-existent since the shooting. Hmm. In other words, the judge is saying, we don't trust the family to put up a million dollars. And uh, he's a, he's a, he's a uh, not a flight, he's a, probably a fright, flight risk as well. But he's also a, a, he's in danger of getting killed, right? They're going to kill him. Uh, <clears throat> so Gottlieb laid out a plan that said uh, he, he should, I'll get to the good stuff. The, the Post has more on it uh, about his, his statements and his connections to QAnon. Gottlieb said, Gottlieb laid out a plan that uh, said he would ensure Camillo show up for future court dates, including a GPS tracker. In other words, he got turned down, right? No bail. No bail for you. Prosecutors said they believe that what might have been a close-knit family at one time had changed in the months, uh, more shooting down his family. They said Camillo, this is the family saying it, the family saying this. They said Camillo was unemployed and, quote, an active member of the far-right-wing conspiracy group QAnon, who believes the group's laws are the laws that he and the nation should follow. Ooh, that is so heavy. QAnon. Q. QAnon killer. Oh, damn. This is so incriminating, man. I don't care what you say. This is this kid is like, this guy was all about Q, man. His computers are full of fucking QAnon shit. He wanted to fucking kill the guy. Kill the fucking Gambino crime boss, man. Damn. Prior to this homicide, Your Honor, the defendant's family wanted him out of their home, said Assistant District Attorney Carrie 
Carrie Lowe. They were encouraging him to get an apartment of his own. Lowe said the family's house on Staten Island is up for sale. Each member of the family is in hiding at different locations out of fear of retaliation. And despite about 40 members of Camillo's family living on Staten Island, no one has shown up for any of his court appearances. I can testify to that. I was there uh, the, the second time. There's nobody. It's just the reporters and cops. In an ongoing bid by the district attorney's office to establish premeditation, prosecutors said surveillance footage shows Camillo casing the house and at one point walking up to the porch. Footage also showed Camillo's, Camillo back his pickup truck into Callie's vehicle to lure him out from his family uh, before firing multiple bullets into Callie's back. Ooh, he shot him in the back. The defendant, after committing these actions the very next day, had his home is observed removing a piece of the back of his vehicle and hiding it in his garage, said Lowe. The defendant's ties with right-wing, <clears throat> right-wing conspiracy groups have been described by Gottlieb as being directly linked to the incident, but he won't yet specify what that direct link is. The DA has now mentioned the right-wing conspiracy websites, which is at the heart and soul of this case, said Gottlieb, following the court appearance Thursday. Uh, So here's the Post reporting. You get a little more, a little more flavor. Um, What does he say? Anthony Camillo expressed fear for his safety and uh, that of his kin immediately following his March 13th slaying of Gambino crime boss Francisco Frankie Cali outside of his total home, Staten Island, prosecutors low said. After shooting, after the shooting, he was sending text messages. Again, I'm on the run. My family is marked. During a bail hearing, 24-year-old, uh, 24-year-old construction worker, defense lawyer Gottlieb, they asked for the million dollars. Law enforcement sources, uh, very much uh, oh, Gottlieb also uh, said Camillo's father, a retired, uh, retired laborer, quote, very much wanted to be here, but skipped the court session based on advice from, quote, law enforcement. Uh, so he's, fear, he's fearful. He's gonna, he doesn't want to show his face. Uh, law enforcement sources have told the Post authorities anticipate an assassination attempt against Camillo, with one source saying, quote, the general feeling is that this guy has an X on his back. Camillo, who was uh, uh, hauled into court wearing khaki scrubs and a fresh haircut, remained handcuffed and surrounded by court officers. He did not speak and was largely emotionless, but began bouncing his right leg. Oh, really? Camillo was charged with second-degree murder. Um, Lowe and prosecutors, uh, they say it's premeditated. Of course it is. Lowe said prosecutors have a, a mountain of evidence, including DNA. The defendant fired 12 bullets, striking him 11 times. All of this is caught on video surveillance. They got him. I mean, they got the the video of him. Will we ever see it? Will anybody ever see it? Probably not. He He drove by the victim's house several times. Hours before the attack, he walked up on the porch, she said. During a confession to cops, Lowe said Camillo, quote, identified himself in the video. He admitted to shooting Frankie Cali, she said. Wow. Lowe didn't allege a motive for the slaying, which law enforcement sources have said they may have been revenge for Cali, 53, for ordering his, ordering his niece not to date Camillo. There's no, there's no evidence of that. That's just that's bullshit. During his first court appearance in March, Camillo made headlines for displaying a palm covered in a link... Ink scrawled, (laughs) displaying a palm covered in ink scrawling tied to the QAnon conspiracy. Remember the hand? QAnon conspiracy. Where is it? Let me find it. Oh, God, I fucking forgot to get this shit out, man. Let me get this shit in this fucking. Where is it? Where is this shit, man? There he is. There he is. There he is. QAnon, QAnon. Ah, QAnon. QAnon. Q. Q. Remember this shit? Oh, damn, that was everything right there, man. That's just crazy, right? United we stand. MAGA forever. MAGA forever. It sounds like a heavy metal song. MAGA forever, Q. <laughs> MAGA forever. MAGA forever. <laughs> 
That's such a crazy story, man. I mean, you know, there's a dead guy, right? It's, you know, but hey, listen, man, this guy's a crime boss, right? Hope they don't. Hope you guys will take offense to this, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to, trying to get, trying to get some perspective on what's going on here, man. You know, like if this, this shit is crazy, man. This is fucking, fucking totally crazy, dude. Like, you know. <sighs> so what else? What else? Um, so Lowe's. Lowe also scoffed at defense uh, cl- uh, defense claims that Camillo has extreme family ties. Uh, nobody shows up at court. Um, he uh, Supreme Court Justice William Garnett denied Camillo bail, calling the case against him very strong, and noted that Camillo, who was arrested at his family's Jersey Shaw vacation home, quote, fled the jurisdiction after the crime. Uh, so the judge is... It's flight risk. If he, if he, he's a crazy person anyway. I'll probably hang himself or just overdose before, you know, facing, uh, or get shot, right? Uh, so, or try to flee, you know? What does he got to lose? You don't let, you don't let a, um, um, that, that was like a, a, a stretch to try to get bail. Outside court, Gottlieb noted that the prosecution, quote, now, has now mentioned the right wing conspiracy website. Ooh. Really? I didn't hear the name. Where's the name? What site? Got to find out. Quote, that is the heart and soul of where this case is going, he said. The forensic al- analysis confirms everything we have been saying, and this case begins and ends with these conspiracy websites and goes right to the White House. <laughs> QAnon killer, you dirty dog, Q. QAnon, step up, step up, QAnon, god damn, god damn, you guys, I told you, man, I told you, I told you when this happened, when he did this hand shit with the Q, right, that it was, a, that he was a QAnon, QAnon kook, now, is he sophisticated enough, is he, uh, is he right up there with the other guys that were, were, were writing, is he, does he, did he have access is he actually one of the QAnons? Is he a QAnon? Is he is he one of the QAnons? I, I I guess there's more. I know you guys. Some of you guys still think it's fucking Trump, right? Shit. Come on, man. Come clean, man. Clean house. Clean house. Denounce the QAnon killer. Denounce the QAnon killer. I I I summon you to denounce the QAnon killer, so that nobody else gets killed. Right? Come on, man. Come on. Fess up. Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly become a Patreon of this channel. And if you'd like, make a one-time contribution. I really appreciate that. That's how I keep it floating because I'm really, like, getting hungry, right? I'm fucking starving, man. Since YouTube demonetized me, I'm like, you can see my ribs, man. I'm really fucking hungry, man. This shit's getting harder and harder to do, man. They're trying to push the truth out, man. They're trying to, they're trying to hide the truth, man. The First Amendment, right? It's fucking... The First Amendment is at risk here, you know? And... and 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 rather than silence me, they're trying to starve me. Kindly become become a Patreon. It helps. It's very helpful. And don't forget to subscribe. Marcus Conte reporting.